Today we are going to be testing out this super cheap antenna from Amazon to see how it stacks up against the top of the line Team Black Sheep antenna. So I have been using the uh, Team Black Sheep uh, Triumph antennas for a pretty long time now and I've wondered whether or not it's actually worth me using them because I haven't really tried any other antennas besides that antenna. So I got these uh, really cheap Maker Fire antennas from Amazon. I uh, don't, don't really know what Maker Fire is. I don't think that's like some legit brand. It's probably just some random label someone put on a package of antennas. But it had a lot of decent reviews on Amazon. So I thought, why don't we give it a shot and see what it's like. So we have two different batteries that we're going to be flying on the exact same quad, the exact same uh, setup. And uh, we're just going to fly along this field just in a straight line, real quick flights, and see how it goes. If it even... Uh, if it's worth it to buy these more expensive antennas or if you might as well just buy your cheap Amazon ones. Okay, so uh, unfortunately I do not have a uh, DVR setup for my goggles, so I am recording straight from the screen with the camera. Uh, so yeah, we will however have a GoPro on the drone so we can switch back and forth between there, um, although that doesn't really matter for this test since we are mostly testing the, uh, the DVR. Okay, so for this first test, we're going to be testing the wonderful uh, Team Black Sheep antenna. So uh, yeah, this is going to be it. Uh, in case you're wondering, I am running off of 800 milliwatts, so this will be very far, but the video transmitter that I'm using is very bad, so it doesn't actually transmit as far as you'd want it to, considering that it is 800 milliwatts. So uh, yeah, we are just going to fly basically as far as we can, but more importantly, we'll just see the difference between the, um, the lag and the stutter on the one and, of course, the other. So this is going to be Team Black Sheep Antenna. Here we go. Alrighty. So as you can see, no real stutter going on here. Um, in case you're wondering, the antennas will be placed in the exact same location. Uh, I'm not going to move any of my setup. Try to keep everything as consistent as possible between these two tests. So uh, here we go. And no setter. Okay, so there you can see some. Ooh, okay, so all the way out here we start to get just about to those dirt piles. Everything gets a little, a little shaky. And I'd be a little uncomfortable flying past here, but I'll fly a little bit further. So, I mean, there you can see that is. A decent amount, but we are very far away. We're probably almost a quarter of a mile away. So that was some stutter there. And then uh, we're going to fly on back here. And then we'll see how the other antenna does. If it even compares to this antenna. Okay, so the antennas are switched out. I am going to plug in here and uh, we'll see how this one does. So nothing else has been changed about this setup. We have the same amount of power going through the system and uh, the same battery, well no, the battery's actually different. We have a uh, new battery, but it's the same brand, it's the same voltage, all that kind of stuff. So uh, yes, I'm um, doing arm tests and then uh, we are good to go. So let's see how this one, let's see how this one performs. Alrighty, here we go, no breakup yet. I don't expect a lot out of this antenna, but you know, we'll see. This is just an open air test, so uh, it doesn't quite qualify for if we were, uh, you know, had an obstructed view, which is probably more common than. Uh... Oh, wow. Okay, so it's it's still making it. Oh, right there. Yeah. So we get cut out right about the same spot, but there's not a big difference. 